What's going on guys? I should be live right now. UTSA Dynasty live stream. How about it? End of season one, beginning of season two. That's what we're gonna do today. We gotta play against the UTEP Miners. Gotta do a lot of recruiting. I have two bye weeks after this week. So for you that like recruiting, I'm probably gonna be doing that in a big bunch. I'm thinking I'm just gonna get going and play in this game here first off, and then we'll do the rest of the recruiting all in a row as we head on out for season one on the road to season two. So welcome everybody to the live stream today. I am here. I should be good to go. If the Audio's good to go. Everybody say Okacha if everybody, everything's good. Everything sounds good and looks good like it should. Say Okacha in the comments. But anyways, guys, welcome to the stream. Hope you guys enjoy. And we'll be getting into the action here in just about 3-4 uh, minutes like always. And if you have not yet, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash MrHurricane. <laughs> Gotta plug that every now and then. Anyways. Gotta make a default video on my channel as always. Gotta go through the the steps, you know, the process, that's how we do it. 144 watching right now. We'll see how big that number gets. It's a nice uh, mid-afternoon stream. Everybody's saying Evil Evans, Okacho, Okacho for Heisman. All right, guys. Also, leave a like on the stream, please. Really appreciate it. And I'm just getting these all linked out. I wish I could just hit a button that automatically did it for me. I, like I had set everything up and it would just do it. Uh, whatever. Put Colorado on your schedule next year. I already said I was putting Colorado on my schedule and I hope Fred Arnold starts. Because after we play him, his season's going to be over. Fred Arnold, we do not respect him at all. I'll show you guys. We'll take a look at Fred Arnold here before we get into the actual game, though. But if you didn't know about Fred Arnold, he was a guy who was we were really interested in going after him. He was a number one prospect, the number one guy we wanted, middle linebacker, and he decided to go on over to Colorado instead of us after we were in first place for most of that battle, I believe. And that's why it was so frustrating to lose our number one prospect when we thought we had him in the bag. Whoops. All right, guys, one more link, and we're going to be good to go. Here, I'm going to pop this up right here. Might as well. Uh, boom, twitter.com slash Hurricane. I want to make some more of those banners for something else. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. Oh, but anyways, guys, hope you guys are ready for the stream. About to get into it here. I got my links out now. I just got to pull up the comments on here so I can see who's all in here and what's all going on in the comment section. But uh, welcome to the stream, guys. I'll take this off the screen now. And, yeah, let's do this. Ponder sucks. Come on, man. Save that for a different live stream. Fred Arnold was in a bounty program and is suspended. <laughs> we have a bounty on him already. And we have an open bounty. We don't care. So we got to go into the recruiting and check out Mr. Fred Arnold. How am I going to find him anyway? I think I have to go search all prospects. Fred Arnold for anti-Heisman, I agree. Well, his name is going to be one of the top ones, so I can just go through all states, all positions. Actually, we know he's a middle linebacker. Here he is. Fred Arnold found him. Two star prospect, 64 overall. UTSA wasn't good enough for him. 81 speed, 83 acceleration, decent pursuit, good coverage ratings. You know what? We got Dominique Carter. We got Dom Carter on this team. We don't need him. He's a thing in the past. So actually, I think I'm going to do the recruiting here first off so we can get people into the stream. And I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as I can so that people don't get bored or whatnot. So why I just leave that menu? I don't know. But I'm hitting the capture button. All right, I'm capping. So how about that recruiting right now? If you didn't know, we play the UTEP Miners. Are three and seven. We are one and seven in the year in the, in the conference. We are second to last. I forget who's in last place. I think it's Memphis, because they're terrible at football. Uh, 
And so I should also show you guys my recruiting class, but oh well. I got some guys in to visit this week. I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can so that uh, we can get through this and get to the game. All right, we have two uh, left tackles here, or two tackles anyway, that have soft commits to UTSA. We're battling against TCU here. We're up by over 1,000 points, but I don't want to take any chances because I've seen comebacks happen on here that I really was not happy with. So I'm doing some quick calls just to get through this period here against Ohio or Iowa State for this one, and we're only down by, we're down by, we're up by 260, so I'm going to spend the time on this guy. Mike Herring, a pass blocking tackle. Maybe he's a left tackle. Then he's six seven. He has the si whoa. He's undersized. Actually, two hundred seventy five pounds. Maybe a right tackle. But let's talk some smack about Iowa State. Do our best to get some points in our direction. Where is he from, by the way? Port. I don't know. I'll say that word. Texas. You gotta always do the promise. They're gonna play a game in his home state, and they already have. So. Playing time much better than ISU. Can we see Heisman in the top 25? Yeah, probably after the last game of the season, I'll show all that stuff. Yeah, there's so many D pluses on here, though. Stadium atmosphere. We have to build this program literally from the ground up. Look at any guards. Hard commit already here. And Spencer Harrell, a junior college transfer. We're up on Air Force, and he's a pass blocker, not a very good run blocker. So he's just basically for depth. I wouldn't probably give him a starting job. Don't forget to put Boise and SDSU in the Big East next year. I could probably do that. I don't know what I did with them. Did I even touch Boise State in when I... I don't know. I forgot the custom ma changes I made to my conferences. There wasn't too many, though. Justin Yancey going against Wyoming and Texas A&M. This kid's got uh, not very good ratings, but we still wanted him. He has a 75 block shedding, which I like, and 74 power moves. So I'll just do a quick call. What school did you draft Cassius Stevens? Um, well, he's not a real player, but I, and I don't remember where he came from. Those were the fake draft classes. All right, got this guy now. First plays over K-State and Rice. We're up by 100 points. So what does he got? 90 acceleration, 89 speed. You guys know I'm a sucker for fast linebackers. They make plays. They make plays all day. You guys know about Jelani Jenkins and Telvin Smith and TJ Stripling and all the other ones, Leroy Reynolds in my Caesar series with the Vikings? That's why I do it. They can make plays based on their speed. And they hit pretty hard. But he's actually down four overall from the scouting. So we'll hurry up and let's see. Louisiana. I th uh, Yeah, actually, I did promise a bunch of guys that we were going to play in Louisiana. So I'm making sure we schedule like Louisiana Tech in one of our games. Don't let me forget, guys. We need, to play, we need to play Colorado. I'm writing it down. Colorado and Louisiana Tech or Lafayette or something like that. A smaller LA or a Louisiana school so I can fill up some of those uh, whatever promises. I had to do a little dirty work to get these guys coming to the school. How's this guy? Not very good. I don't need him. Especially if I get John Lee. I already have uh, Sean Hunter. Middle linebacker Dominic Carter. Here's what we got instead of Fred Arnold by the way. He's at 84 speed, so he's faster, and his coverage ratings are just a little bit lower. Not as good a player recognition or pursuit, but uh, we got something to work with here with Dominic Carter, and he's a gem. So we already got Kyle Nichols at cornerback. He's a 65 overall, three-star prospect. He has got 79 man, 73 zone, decent speed ratings. Hoping he can play on the outside of that 6'3 frame of his. About the same size as Richard Sherman. I don't know how much Richard Sherman actually weighs, though, of the Seattle Seahawks. I love tall cornerbacks, guys. And this kid's all right, but he's looking at Arizona, so we're not going to really go that hard for him. Joe Wright. I forget about a lot of these prospects here. Not very good coverage ratings, and so that's why I held off on really giving him an offer. Well, I did give him an offer. I, or Idaho did. I don't know. I don't want him that bad. Eric Hancock, 
Six five pocket passer here. Interested in Baylor. We'll do some quick time with him. Do you think you'll ever play FIFA? Yeah, I probably will on the EA Sports season ticket in the demo if they put that out. So we already got Oscar Bridges, and I really want Danny Moss. He's got some good ratings. I'm rolling up at 260, though. 92 speed. That's what we're talking about there. That's really his only good rating, I guess. Everything else has a little bit more to ask for. But perhaps he could be a third down running back for us next year. Oh, no, no, no. I, I thought this is a 10-minute call. I want to do a 60-minute call. If you love tall corners and you love Cromartie, be careful what you say. <laughs> You're right. I don't really like the Cromartie brothers or cousins, whatever they are. I like Richard Sherman and Brandon Browner and Vontae Davis. Guys who have some height to them. Brandon Browner, though, is 6'4". You got to be careful around him. Anthony Banks come this week. How do you do recruiting so fast with the calls? I I already know what pretty much to do, so I just go really quickly through it and I just pick all right, pitch this, pitch that, pitch this, pitch that. How good is Danny Moss? Wait a minute, did I just do the wrong guy? I just put 60 minutes towards Anthony Banks. How good is he? Whoops, 88 speed. I don't care. I'll take three freshman running backs. Will you post some FIFA on your channel? Yeah, from the EA Sports season ticket, I will. I'm not sure how much because it's really out of my territory and out of my knowledge of anything. I'd like to try the game though. I want to give more games a chance. Like I tried NHL last night, made a video about that. Some people already like that video, want me to do some more. But um, you know, really sports, as far as sports games go, I've really only played like football, baseball, and wrestling. I haven't really tried out too much more, and I'm all, I always am skeptical because I'm like, ah, oh, I have to learn all these controls, like basketball as far as NBA. There's like a hundred different controls I gotta learn as far as ISO moves and posting up and doing everything. I don't even know basketball that well myself. So it's like I can only play so many games and actually know what I'm doing. All right, I'm looking at a ton of receivers as well. Trey White. In first place here, a six foot, 199 pound receiver, 87 speed, horrible acceleration, good carrying, poor catching though. You know, I'm gonna scout some receivers with my time. So we'll take somebody, Keith Arnold, six six, two twenty eight. <laughs> Looking at some sky high giraffes here at receiver. We're gonna do some scouting towards him because he's six six. Imagine if we had this guy on our team, guys. We don't need Fred Arnold. We got his brother. Oh, I can't scout him. I already scouted him this week. I don't. I don't remember that. I think I might have did it earlier though. David Marshall. All right. We're just gonna start scouting guys. Wait, that guy's a 43 overall. I'm gonna at least sort by overall. See what I can get here. We have over 400 viewers right now, guys. Marcus Garner, a junior college junior, looking at Tulane. We just kicked Tulane's ass. Well, not by much, like four. Uh, we'll scout him, though. See if we can find a diamond in the rough. 81 speed. I'm not liking it so far. Only 67 catching. You've already showed me enough. I don't want him. He's too slow and he can't catch it good enough. Marcus Garner, uh, Tim Bennett, Robert Stanley. Already 23% scouted on him. And what do I know? He, I know he can carry the ball without fumbling. That's about it. Trey White. I still want to get Trey White though. Maybe he can turn into something a little bit better.
<sighs> Dan Lawson. Yeah, I'm not sure how good any of these guys are going to be. Joseph Washington, who has good size. He's 6'3". 6'2", 6'2", 6'2". Looking at Navy. Alright, we'll go look at this guy right here. Dan Lawson has good size. How far am I behind Boston College? Only 60 points and he's 0% scouted. So we're going to take a shot at this guy. We're going to put all our scouting on Dan Lawson. I like his size. Let's see. Ball carrier vision is up. Stamina is up. Agility is down. Give us something good. 57 catching. Why can't I get anybody that can catch the football? He's up two, I guess. So we'll give him some time. A little quick call here. 54 points. Uh, quick calls, you get nothing, though. I just want to do it fast and get it out of the way, to be honest. And so, I guess the rest of the time, we're going to go ahead and just... Like, I don't have to do a ton of recruiting this year, but I'm just trying to get a few go good players. I'm just going to do some quick calls on these guys and get them out of the way. Alright, 423 viewers. If you just got into the stream, please leave a like. And now it's time to play, guys. UTEP. Let's take a look at their roster quick and see what we got to go against. Whoops, if I can find it. So under team management? Yeah, it's going to be like under edit roster, I think. And luckily, they are right near us in alphabetical order. So, they have a f an 84 overall safety. Deshaun Grayson, wide receiver Michael Edwards, Drew Thomas, Josh Feli, Feely. How good is their offense, though? That's what I want to know. Uh, an okay quarterback, a pocket passer. Halfback, not too much there. And Michael Edwards. Jordan Leslie. All right. Next will be good for good year for UTSA. I hope so because it's going to be a lot of sophomores progressing. I think I can show you guys right here how many actually we have. I don't want to go ahead and count myself because that would take too long. But if I look at is it team needs where it shows this? How many seniors do we have? Seniors on roster, 7. I thought we only had three. But a lot of sophomores, a lot of freshmen, a couple juniors. Not a lot of seniors, though, which is good. I guess we have more seniors than I thought. What is Steven Kerfes? He's a junior, it says. What is your total win goal for the next season? Well, we'll see how we do in this game. If we can win four games this year then I think my goal is going to be six for the second year, which could get us into a bowl game. Let's see what we got for uniform options. I don't think we have anything special. Alternates, actually? Sure. Got 4 two, five defense. Bowl game next year, guarantee it. I hope so. I mean, I know it's going to be a project with UTSA, but I want to see how good guys can progress. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. I want to see Okacha go up. I want to see Glasgow and Cam Jones and Brandon Freeman, guys who have been doing good this year. Sad thing is, I wonder if I've given the receivers enough catches. I think Brandon Freeman's our leading receiver with like 32 catches and I don't know how many yards. 
Just spread the ball around a little bit. There's Okacha right there. All right, we're getting the ball first. We got to get the ball, put the ball in the Okacha's hands. I'm going to turn on the, the sound now for the gameplay, guys. Let me know if it's too loud or if it's just right. Kenny Harrison from the goal line and met by the first guy. Well, first guy he meets, tackles him. Short of the 20 yard line by about half a yard. Hopefully the audio on here is good. Let me know just right, too high, too low. Eric Souza first play. Evans Okacha up the gut and he's going to be tackled after a six yard gain. Just right. Thank you guys for the quick feedback on that. Now Eric Souza on second down and four. Couple of nice blocks and Okacha gets the first down. I wish that hop step wasn't in there. No one jumps like that. It's not high school football. Alright, first down and ten. We're going to air it out this time. They're going to blitz a linebacker out of the backfield. Evans Okacha. Spin move into a tackle five yard gain. Three plays all directed towards Evans Okacha to begin the game. And now we're at second down and five. When's the next flash? The Dash Jackson. I have the next uh, gameplay stuff on my computer. I just have to edit it, so maybe I should try to do that tomorrow. I gotta get Pac-12 going too. Like I have two episodes already edited, but I always find stuff I want to work on instead. Like Vikings franchise, I really want to grind out Vikings franchise because I want to get it done before the season starts in week one. But that's in two weeks. Two weeks from tomorrow, I think. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'll definitely try. I have to probably get two games up a couple of days. Cam Jones over the middle. There we go. Good offense so far. All plays have been positive. So it appears that we've gotten a little bit better throughout the season. And now, hand the ball off to Okacha, trying to go up the middle, now cutting outside, breaks another tackle, Okacha with tough running, second and six. Chris the dog wanted me to try out the no huddle, because he said there were some new problems with it, so we're going to see how it goes here. Well, I did want to make an audible there, so I guess I didn't really test what you wanted me to see. Over the oh, oh man, he just missed Brandon Freeman there. First poor play of the day. Eric Souza just overthrows his man Freeman. And Florida State has knocked off Maryland. Quarterback EJ Manuel with 215 yards in the day. And we got some more games around the league. I've never even seen these ones here. I always must skip it. But anyway. Back to our football game. We're going to go to the shotgun now in case they try to bring some pressure. Alright, third down and six. What can we do here? Hmm. Let's send Okacha in motion. He's going to run a swing right there. And outside, Okacha quickly, cutting inside, gets a block, but uh, we can't get the six yards down after one. Uh, needs one more. Where are we, though? The 28-yard line? We're going to go for it. This is college. We go for it. David Glasgow in the backfield, goal line set. Fullback leading the way, Nate Shaw, and Glasgow gets the first down. I don't usually go for it, but in college, you know it's more fitting. It was one yard to go. We want to capture some momentum. We have trouble scoring touchdowns, and so we took the risk. All right, Souza on first down and ten. Are they going to bring any pressure? Yes, they are. Uh, I had Glasgow underneath. I could have hit him if I had some more time. You can see here, this pressure, we couldn't hang on. Lost eight yards on the play. 
So now, try a little screen pass here. See if they see if we can get anything out of it. Or it's going to be a screen pass through Evans Okacha out of the backfield if he's covered, which he is. So Okacha makes the catch, trying to get upfield, gets to the 30-yard line. We're going to get uh, just a few on that play, so it didn't really work all that well. But we could get into field goal. We're in field goal range. I just don't know how good our kicker really is because uh, we don't really kick a lot of field goals or anything. All right, third and 15. Cam, you run to that line. Actually, that's Freeman over there. Cam's on the left side. All right, Sosa back to throw. Third and 15 underneath. Uh, oh, my God, I had wide open. I had Freeman wide open. I didn't even see it. And I still got the first down with Cam Jones. Wow. He was wide open. How? Do, I got to take more time. I got to... Wow. I hate when I see it as soon as I touch a button, too. I got lucky. All right, first and ten. Handoff. Okacha looking for some blocks up the middle. Three, four, five yards to give it to him. All right. This has been a long first drive, too. Souza counter play left side Glasgow, and man, the blocking AI is pretty bad in this game. We'll watch a replay here. Guard just runs over that guy. They go outside instead of inside. And when somebody goes inside, you get destroyed. All right. Third down and nine. What can we do here? Eric Souza back to throw. Throws it. Freeman makes the catch, but he's going to be short of the first down marker. And that is going to bring out the field goal unit now as UTSA has pretty much taken all the time off the clock here in the first quarter. A little chip shot here from the right hash. Kick is up. It is good. 3-0 UTSA on their first drive. And Freeman has a broken thumb, but he's coming back. Good. Need him this game. UTEP football now. Stay in the game. It's the last game of the year. All right, first down and ten. Back to pass. Megger, Medger, how do you say that name? Ah, nice pass to Leslie. Holding the zone coverage there. We had a flat zone and a deep zone. Ten yard routes there work really well. Intermediate stuff against the zone. You really need to run more with Sosa. You force a lot of passes, and that's why he's throwing like 30 picks. Yeah, I've thrown a ton of interceptions already with him this year. I think it's like a 2 to 1 interception to touchdown ratio. Oh. They're pretty unforgiving on Heisman. They don't drop interceptions either. I got Kerfis here in his zone. I trust him to hold it down. Oh, uh, Jerron Harris. Oh, no, the read option. They got it to work. I was, oh, no. I thought I was going to go to the running back, and he was going to get smoked. All right. We're going to bring the pressure this time. We already played against one school that killed us with the read option. Who was that again? Was that? Oh, man, I forget who it was. Wasn't Marshall. Ah, uh, Eric Brown. No, he's gonna give up a touchdown. UTEP, quick touchdown. Nice drive. Who was that that kept killing us with the read option? Yeah, their first game of the year actually in real life against North Alabama is on ESPN three. And that game, I have it in my iPod here, which I hope I don't have to use as much soon because my Google s tablet should be here soon, but. Uh, it's in eight days. It's on August 30th, according to what I have on here. The 
North Alabama or no, it's South Alabama, I think. All right, Kenny Harrison. Let's get a good return. Answer him back. That's what we need right there. Across the 30-yard line to the 34. You don't got to show every replay that goes for over five yards. Was that Tulsa? UAB, I think, also had a pretty good team against us. Souza back to throw, and now scrambling out of the pocket. Like a lot of people want me to do with Souza, and he dives head first, nine and a half yards in that play. Quarterbacks kind of look awkward in this game when they scramble. All right, second and inches, up the middle, Okacha first down. I believe Okacha has about 750 rushing yards in the season. Probably end up being short of the 1,000 yard mark unless he has a monster game. But next year, that should be the goal. First and 10. Come on, Okacha. Okacha had a blue route and he never let go. He would have been wide open. That's why I was trying to evade pressure and went out to the right to make it a short throw. And Okacha never let off the block. Second and 11. Okacha on the stretch play now. Trying to follow his blockers. Get six. Souza's pretty tired. We're going to call a first half timeout here so Souza can get his breath back. Don't want to make in a bad throw that impacts the game. Use your first half timeouts, guys. If you got a fatigue player on offense, use your timeouts in the first half. You're never going to use them anyway. All right, Souza passing. And he's got wide open. There we go. David Morgan, first down inside the 30 yard line. Perfect pass. Now imagine if he missed that one when I had uh, the fatigued quarterback. Let's go for the jet sweep. All right, now Freeman in motion, takes the jet sweep. Okacha not really leading the way. He waited until Freeman was already past them. So there's definitely some work to be done with the blocking in here. I did not decide the team for Madden 13 Connected Careers yet. No. Second and 11. Souza back to pass. Going to lob it deep to the end zone to the back side, and it's going to be incomplete. Would have been out of bounds anyway. So now third and 11 from the 27-yard line. Could hit Jeremiah Moeller on this play. Brandon Freeman will make it a slant. Okacha just sitting blocks. We have some time to make this pass. Third and 11. Here we go. Moeller. Oh, no, it got tipped. And they do drop interceptions, I guess. Oh, no. Moeller was wide open, and it got batted up in the air. Man. Right tackle gave up the quick pressure. So we already made a 23-yarder. Can we make the 44? Kick is up. It is no good. God, we need a better kicker. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey takes the handoff now. There we are with the tackle. Put four yards in the carry. Hopefully we can hold him on this drive. There were lights out in their first one. We've had a pretty good offense today, too. There's only three points to show for it. Come on, Wade, back off a little bit. Uh, oh, Jeffrey, right through that spot. <laughs> right where I wanted the blitz, that exact spot. First down, UTEP. They're winning in the trenches right now.
first and ten. Option left side now. Oh my god. I always go for the back instead of the quarterback just because I'm like, dare you to pitch it, dare you to pitch it. Picks up almost the first down. Second and inches. Come on, can we get some pressure? Uh oh, that's an overthrow. Intercepted Eric Brown. Thank you. Fifth interception on the season, thus increasing his single season record for UTSA. That was just a bad pass. Well, it would have been good if Brown wasn't there to catch it. Great to him. He thought, would have thought he was the receiver. I am doing the offseason in this, indeed. Souza, hands ball off. Evans Okacha, good blocking on the stretch play. Left side to the 46. All right. Now what does Souza have in store for us? Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought Little was going to come up and... <laughs> Rush me. Little mistakes like that. Throwing the ball to a guy named Little. We'll watch it again. Yeah. Come on. Wanted to lob it over him. I thought he was going to come after me if I kept scrambling that way. Just a good play. First and ten. Over the middle. This time there's no Eric Brown there to make the catch. Freytag makes the catch. What is Ponder doing on your team? <laughs> he only threw 12 picks last season, guys. He just couldn't make any good plays. On the my franchise, that is. Threw 13 picks in real life last year. Come on, we're going to get him. There we go, Stephen Kerfitt, the user tackle. What is the recruiting difficulty in this? All-American. All right. Megger, Medger, back to pass again. Leslie, first down. Man, we had a nice pick last drive, but... Gave it right back to him, and now UTEP looks to be in control this game. Might have to bring some blitzes to get some pressure on this quarterback. Noel Devine isn't in Madden 13, it's because he's in the CFL, I think. Handoff, Leslie, and we're going to push him backwards. Oh, no. I hate going for user tackle. That's why I usually the computer do it. Because I just miss. I sprint past them. Touchdown, UTEP. I'll never get better at that, I swear. I've been doing that for years. I just run past guys like that. Because I sprint. I want to go at them. Alright, 14-3. Did you already recruit? Yeah, for this week, but I have a lot more to do. Alright, Kenny. Ah. Outside guy got free. We have a play action set up? No thank you. Eric Souza, first down and ten. Under pressure already? Wow! Come on, guys. Nowhere to go for Eric Souza. All right, second down and 18 now. Back to throw again. Let's go curl route. Cam Jones makes the catch at the 20-yard line, good for nine yards, making it third down and nine. Did you take this burn timeout? I think so. Clock stopped. All right, third and nine. Moeller, you just block. Okacha. 
You go in motion. Okacha just go deep. Third and nine. Here we go. Souza looking for the first down pass. Going right side. Harrison makes the catch. Inbounds. First down and then out of bounds. UTSA moves the chains at the 37 yard line. Good play. That's what we needed right there. First and ten again. Souza back to throw. And, wow, where's this pressure coming from, guys? We have three guys chasing me. They already have four sacks in the first half. Every first down has to be a sack, I guess. Second down and 19 now. Out of the backfield, Okacha. Just get some positive yards. One. We're going to let the clock run down most of the way. Alright. Harrison. Go deep. Okacha block because they're not doing it for me. We'll run this down. Okay, we're pretty good now. Souza, three-man rush. We better block these guys. Souza, heaving it long. Harrison, jump, intercepted. We went for it. Uh-oh. Don't give him a big play, though. Okacha, get over there. One second left on the clock. Why would I scramble in this situation? I want to stretch the field running. I don't want to fumble the ball. Souza on a run. We're not looking for first downs as much as we're looking for the big play in that situation. Alright, last play of the first half here. Can't give up a touchdown. That would be so bad. Anyways, it's incomplete. I think I've thrown quite a few of those interceptions too. I just jump balls. Make the stat sheet look a little bit worse. Leslie out of the end zone. Come on, guys, get him. Liscano makes the tackle at about the 35-yard line, 30-yard line. We'll call it the 28. All right, back to throw. Me I don't even know what, how to say this guy's name. Is it Megger or Medger or... It's going to suck when I have to make this video. I'm going to call him quarterback. Or look up the UTEP media guide, which I have done for many other teams. All right, guys, we're blitzing this time. we got to get some pressure. And, oh, no, don't let him get outside. Oh, Kerfiz has got caught up there on lineman. First down on the read option. Which, wow, Jerron Harris. Out. They gotta fix some of the stuff on here. If I play on default Heisman, Jerron Harris should not be going to trail a running back after he sees that the quarterback has the ball. He could have tackled him for a loss right there. Jeffrey makes a cut, breaks a tackle, and then he's tackled after a gain of one. Alright, I want to get some pressure here again. Kerf is in the middle. What can you do? Hand the ball off. Oh my god! We send the pressure from the outside. They just run inside every time. So we're going to pinch the D-line. And now they're going to throw it. Megger back to pass. I don't know his name. Lead him to the left sideline. Perfect catch by Freytag in bounds. Makes a nice catch. Is this the last game of the season? Yes. Once again, four wide. 
And a handoff goes to Jeffrey. He has some great blocking. Why'd he cut inside five yards? Nathan Jeffrey. Second down and five. Back to throw in the pocket. Has a man underneath there, and he throws it out of bounds. Any fourth down coming up, they're going to kick a field goal. It'll still be a two-score game for us. Hey, Hurricane, are you going to pay 300 bucks for the new LeBrons? Not a chance in the world. I don't like shoes that much. I'll wear the same pair of shoes for like three years. We better stop him here. Oh, it's the only third, third down. I thought it was fourth down. What the hell? Oh, Leslie at the goal line. Catch. Short of the end zone, but they're going to have first and goal from like the one-inch line. I swear, Kerfiz, you better get him here. You too, Cody. Get some pressure, guys. Dump off Tomlinson. They're going to be short. Jerron Harris makes a tackle. All right. Eric Tomlinson. Watch him run up the gut here. Nope, they're going to pass again on second and goal. Ford. Wow, short of the end zone again, guys. It's a little bit more interesting here. Third and goal. When are they going to stop messing it around? Messing around and just run the football, though. That's the thing. Handoff up the middle. Jeffrey touchdown. We cannot stop him. Our, tr our line is doing zero. Hurricane, are you getting Madden 13 early release? Yeah, through the EA Sports season ticket. Wish I could get the full game early. Just my disc copies over here. Don't have that luxury. Kenny Harrison on the return. It's 21 to 3. We got to get a touchdown on this drive. We started off hot, but no touchdowns. That's the thing. Even when we have successful drives, they a lot of times die out in the red zone. So we gotta establish some sort of balanced offense attack here. Okacha, and now makes a cut. He's gonna get about seven yards in this carry. Nice play. Okacha's at 58 yards on the get on the day, on eight carries. See if they go and cover Okacha in the flats which they do not. Sosa taking off. He's going to get some yards here. There we go. Everybody wants to see me take off a little bit more, so I'll entertain that idea now. It's working out so far. Sosa escapes the pocket and gets a big first down. All right. Hand off Okacha right up the gut, and he's shoved away by defensive end. Their linemen are doing something. Ours aren't doing anything. Oh man, no, I should have thrown it to the receiver. I saw pressure coming around. See, whenever I see like the guys get even close to me, I always throw the ball because I don't trust my linemen. If the interactions in this game were more realistic, I probably wouldn't be as scared, but I don't trust the linemen. As soon as I see them make any type of push, I panic. Third down and seven. Souza. Oh no! Oh my god! I saw Cam open there and I forgot it was a curl. I thought I had him on an in there. Ah, oh, 
Three picks on the day for Souza. Not a very good overall game. I have I won with UTSA in a stream before? I think I did against Texas State. Oh, they, they do pitch it back. Wow. And they don't drop those picks. They drop the tip one. They always drop tips, though. Second and five. Oh my god, I thought it was going to be a stupid run. I took uh, Kerfus off of his zone. It seems they always know what I want to do. They just, alright, we'll just do this then. Perfect. How about a safety blitz? They just run it left side. See, they know exactly what I want to do. They're just like, screw him. Then we're just going to blitz them. We're sending six guys. Get pressure. Alright, off the edge. There we go. We get a sack. Minus six yards. Thank you, guys. Alright, second down and 16 now. What can we do here? Short over the middle to Edwards. And that's like the first time I had to say his name. Anybody gets 14 yards. Three. Took forever for guys to get around him. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. I'm not playing an All-American. I'm not going... I'm not going to go and win like eight games with this team. The way it is. Third and two. Cody Rogers getting pressure. Oh, almost picked off from the end zone there, actually. Decent stand on defense with a short field. All right, kick is up. It is good. So, 24-3. to three in the fourth quarter here not looking good for us Harrison out of the end zone he's been getting some pretty good returns for us but we only get like one or two first downs and turn the ball over all the time I'm not gonna run the ball against that front Alright, Sozo, what can you do here? Oh my god, the pressure! Come on! Just give me some time to throw. It's just UTEP. Second down and 16. Let's go out of the flats. Okacha, get something out of it. Six yards, making it third and ten. The sack yardage has been regained. We only get sacked on first down, too. That's so annoying. Gotta stretch it. Third and ten. Souza going deep to Cam. Jones makes the catch. He's gonna burn the defense. Come on, Cam. Don't get caught. Thank you. Touchdown, UTSA. Cam Jones just at the school record for receiving yards in a season with 610 with five minutes and a second to go in the game. Yes, I do plan on streaming Friday for Madden 13. I'm really excited for that. So 24 to 10. Edwards now taking this back, getting a fumble, guys. Come on, big hit. Oh, yes, that is right. There's a lot of guys who are having their last game now because it's the seniors. It's the last game of the year for the seniors, so. 
I forget who all we lose. I think we lose like Eric Brown. Um, we lose Nate Shaw, I believe. I don't know. I could be wrong there on that one though. I don't know all the seniors. I think our punter, Jerron Harris. Screw it, guys. We gotta start blitzing. We gotta start bringing pressure with the safeties and keeping playing cover zero the rest of the game pretty much. Oh, hit as he throws. He gets back up though. All right, now hand off to Jeffrey. Don't let him get the first down. Don't let him get the first down. We're just going to keep bringing pressure. I got like linebackers on receivers. First down, hand off Jeffrey going up the middle. He's going to escape one, but not two. Second and eight coming up. Hashtag Okacha transforming. That's right. Into the form of Adrian Peterson. All right, can we get any pressure this time? Safety coming through. Sacked in the backfield. There we go, guys. Third and 15 coming up. It's getting interesting right now. No first downs. Starling, no first downs. Brown, no first downs. Three-man rush. Come on. Good coverage, guys. Good coverage. No! Oh, yes, he dropped it. I was going... <laughs> what just happened? I got to watch his back again. Oh, my God. He was getting open, and he dropped the football. He dropped it. Okay. All right, guys. Chance for a return here. Kenny Harrison. Can we get something out of this? Ah, uh, flag! You gotta be kidding me! Why is it always holding? Leave a like, guys. <laughs> Uh, 3.28 to go in the game. This isn't going to work. I'm not even going to try. First and 10. Sows at a throw over the middle. Jeremiah Moeller. First down and more across the 25. No huddle time, guys. No huddle. No. Freeman, I wasn't talking to you. Back to throw. Souza. Oh, no. No! I had the pressure coming to me. I th Let me see here. Let me watch this back on the playback. Nope, I had a clean pocket. And I must have thought he was doing an in. That was a panic. I saw guys coming at my lineman. That was a panic throw again. I gotta get over those. Come on. Get Jeffrey. See, that's four picks just because I, I made some panicking throws. It's not even that so is bad. I just make stupid passes when I feel like I'm gonna get pressure. And I don't actually have pressure when I make those throws. That's the annoying part. Like, it feels like I have pressure because my guys are just getting destroyed on the line. But actually, I have time to throw the ball. And then I just like, okay, this guy's going to cut here. I'll throw it to him. And I just got to take less or take more time on those passes. Third and nine. Running it inside of two minutes to go. Actually, you, Eric Brown, just do that. And you do that. Probably not going to work, but we'll try it. Five, four, three, two, snap the ball. All right, Jerron, break free. Jake, break free. Over the middle, wide open. Wade on the tackle. 
You might get fired this season. I took off coaching contracts, so I can't get fired, I think. Because I... This is a UTSA dynasty, and it's going to stay that way. Hand the ball... Come on. Kerpus makes a tackle. Actually, I'm going to go to the depth chart, put all the seniors in. Any f seniors that are not getting any playing time? So I told you guys there's not very many seniors. Have one senior already in. And what are the chances we have seniors on the bench? All right, Frank. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Welcome to the game, Frank. Kerfiz can leave the field. Oops, was he a senior? Nope. Junior. Xavier Archangel. That's how sim style I am, guys. I play all the seniors when it doesn't matter anymore. Uh-oh, Jeffrey off the edge. Oh, spin move! Touchdown! At least we get the ball in our offense's hands, I guess. So we're going to get the football now, 31 to 10. Your roster is wrong in so many ways. I don't know how good the rosters are as far as, I don't know if you're talking about quality of players or if you're talking about my names. Harrison, wait a minute. Is Harrison going to try to take us from the distance? He's not going to get it. I think he just got injured though. All right, we're going to run some option. Oh, gotcha. Come on, man. You're ruining my stats. I can't have that negative six on there. Oh, gotcha will unfollow me on Twitter. Second down and 16 now. Souza. Screen. Wow. That doesn't happen. Five picks. They intercept everything. Granted, it wasn't a great throw, but that never gets picked. Oh, well. Tristan Wade now returning this one. Can he take this one back? If this was on All American, half those picks wouldn't have happened. We're still throwing. I'm not throwing six picks. I'm taking a sack instead. You don't get a lot of leeway with your throws. Yeah, I'm losing by four touchdowns because they decided to knee it, or not knee it, and would just play the game, and they score a touchdown. And I threw a stupid pick six on a screen pass, so it looks worse than what it was, which wasn't that good in the first place. Souza hands the ball off, Okacha up the gut. We got one play left this year, guys. Can I put Okacha at quarterback for a play?
Does it let you do that in this game? Where is he? Where's Lokacha? Oh, I gotta take him off of running back first. Whoops. I got this, don't worry. We're putting Okacha at quarterback. I know what I'm doing. Number thirty six is in at quarterback. All right, fourth and seven, last play of the season, guys. Okacha heaves it, make the catch. Yeah, they don't pick off Okacha, they pick off Souza like crazy, though. Thirty-eight to ten, UTEP wins. Three wins on the season is all we could do. We couldn't stop Nathan Jeffrey at all. Unfortunate outcome. Great five-pick performance from Eric Souza in this game. Sacked six times, though under pressure a lot. Okacha ran the ball pretty well. Cam Jones had a nice day. But if that offensive line gets better though and I start taking more time on my passing plays, watch out. Hey guys, season one's over though. It's time to go to the second year. Well, it's not over yet until I sim past everything. I got bye weeks to go through and stuff. Alright, so... I'm going to stop this capture thing in a second here. I'm going to start a new one right after that. You say you really hope Souza progresses? Yeah, I wonder if he is going to because I threw like 32 picks this year with him. Alright, so one moment guys. Ending the capture. Now starting a new capture. 3 and 9. Hopefully we never have to settle for three wins again. Got a couple of bye weeks to go through here. I can't get fired, I took off the contracts. Ah, simming takes forever because I got like 500 teams on here. I don't know how many there actually are on here, like 120 or 30, 40, I don't know. Come on, we're going to week 14 now. We gotta go schedule our recruits. We gotta do all this stuff here. We gotta get some guys in UTSA playing football. We gotta get ready for season two. Which will be Evans Okacha's last season. Senior. What if he transferred in the game? I would cry. Yeah, we gotta commit. Three star tackle, guys, at the start. But obviously, you can see our guards is where we needed the help. All right, so recruit time. Josh Beach, you want to come here, don't worry. Soft Arizona, soft UTSA. Talk to him. We should go scout some of those wideouts too. I was looking at in a second, but I'm gonna look at these quarterbacks. Soft for Baylor. Come on, Eric. 
How do you have a soft offer for Baylor? You don't have a scholarship. Come on, Eric. Get your mind right. Quick calling it up. Whoops. We're going to have a ton of running backs coming here next year. We're going to have like a Mike Shanahan backfield. All right. So, Mr. Washington Joseph, how good are you at playing uh, wide receiver? 67 acceleration. My God, get off the football field, please. You can go to pit all you want. They're going to be disappointed. You're no Larry Fitzgerald. James Jones. Hmm. Keith Arnold. I don't know if I like that guy very much. David Marshall. Not scouted yet. He's a 43, guys. What's the worst that could happen? How bad is he really? Maybe he's a gem. Well, he can't make spectacular catches. Hey, he can accelerate better than that other guy. He's better catching than most of these other players, too. Alright, Robert. Eighty seven speed for Robert Stanley. Seventy nine acceleration, seventy four jumping. Maybe Robert Stanley is someone we should look into getting. The Juco sophomore. I'll offer him a scholarship. I already said that I was going to play a game against the Louisiana school, so I'll just say I'm going to get a, player, a game in the player's home state. Maybe I can make Louisiana one of my pipelines, too. If you guys saw in the beginning, I can show you guys again. Almost every player on my team is from Texas. Alright, another hour to spend on scouting here. Tim Bennett. A junior college, junior possession receiver. 88 speed. Give me some good ratings. Good news. Uh, actually, he doesn't look bad either. He's from New Orleans. We can make Louisiana a pipeline for sure. Keith Arnold. Oh yeah, that's the 6'6 guy. We'll use the rest of the scouting on this 6'6 giraffe. Agility, injury rating, trucking he can't truck anybody, stamina, that's all we get. I want speed or catching, and of course they don't give me it, but oh well, I can do it next week. So now I'm going to go call some people that, okay, you're good. I already call you, yes. Do you like me? You like this school? You're down by 20 points? Yeah, you're a good player. I want you here. I'll take three tackles, three running backs. Ooh, good one here. 41 up, 41 down. It's so much easier recruiting with Washington. I get so many points when I do that. Oh, I can make you a promise if I haven't already, which I have. Alright, 111 points there. What does pipeline mean? It's like, it's like states that you get a lot of players from, and that makes them more likely for other players from that state to come to your school because you have ties. I don't know. 
Spencer Harrell. I don't know why I'm going for him, actually. He's a Juco transfer. He's not even that good in the first place. Definitely got to go for Justin Lee. Or John Lee. Why Justin Lee? 101 there. Prospects choice, 38. Definitely want him and his speed on this defense. Say walrus. Why do I have to say walrus every stream that I do? Maybe I don't want to say walrus. Alright, that one's out of the way. And then Lionel Miller. Probably just going to give him a quick call. Actually, I don't even want him. Take him off the board. Retracting your scholarship as well. And this guy's not that good. Taking some more guys off the board so I can add some more later in the off season. But here, uh, we'll talk to Trey White. Quick call. When we start recruiting quarterbacks, Souza is a senior now. I'll take a look at what I have. But, um, yeah, definitely looking at one in the next season, season two. What is your favorite school in real life? The Minnesota Gophers, although I don't really watch much college football. I'm an NFL guy. I don't really watch anything of anything else. MLB, NBA, NHL, WNBA, uh, Major League Ping Pong. I don't watch any of that stuff really that much. I did get a punter already. Yeah, I should maybe try to get one in the off season. You're right, red shirt him, let him develop a little bit. That's a good call. I have the off season to do that too, so Oh my god, it takes forever. What do you think of the Gophers' new uniforms? I like them a lot, actually. I love the font they made with the brick pattern on the maroon letters, I believe it was. I think their jerseys are a lot better looking this year, because their, their color scheme really doesn't match that well together, I didn't think, and it doesn't look good to me. But with the new style, I think it looks so much better. I'm not even sure if I've really ever gone to a uh, through a complete off season on here either. Okay, two more recruits, guys. Good going. And if you guys did not see earlier, but you're a fan of the series, I posted a Vikings franchise episode earlier, season one or season six, week one against the Houston Texans. Go ahead and watch that one. Very good episode. I don't want you. Running back. These guys are still unsure of what they want to do, huh? I'm going to go look at wide receivers again. I got to go look at that Arnold dude. Come on, give me speed and catching. Speed, 85 and... Oh! Whoa! So basically, this guy has no ankles and no hands. But he can run? <laughs> Keith Arnold. Look at this guy. <laughs> I'm going to give him a scholarship offer. Wait, he just said he had a, n a number of offers coming his way? Keith, don't lie to me. 
I gotta see this again. Wow. Or he had a lot of schools he was considering. You gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> He's gonna be terrible. But he can jump. How's this guy doing? He's more elusive, not as agile. Give me speed. Nope. This guy, we got 0%. 0%. Matt Hooper. Ninety-three carrying, not very good route runner. Forty-two spin, thirty-nine elusive, forty-eight stiff arm. He can jump. Uh no thanks. Dan Lawson. Looks like he should be a halfback. Should I put him at running back? He'd probably get destroyed. Make him a fullback? I could do that. Dan Lawson. Do a little bit more recruiting on this guy. I know he had a pretty good, uh, some other decent attributes anyway. If I can see his speed though. Oh, uh, he can't excel. Accelerate. Robert Stanley. Tim Bennett. Alright, we'll keep looking at receivers. That's all I'm scouting because I've pretty much done everything else I want to do. I gotta find a diamond in the rough, guys. That's why I'm looking at these guys in the first place. All right, gotta go talk to recruits. Quick call on you for an hour. Quick call on you for another hour. Not sure I really want to get a ton more recruits though. I'm pretty happy with what I have so far. Like I said, not a lot of holes to fix. Eric Hancock, might as well just try. Trey White, make sure doesn't question going to Virginia. Wow, no points there for Trey, really. Danny Moss, Anthony Banks. but a lot to improve definitely and I'm not going to improve it with 50 overall receivers so I'm not going to go out and sign a bunch of them just to be uh, bodies on the depth chart and redshirt freshmen when I can potentially get some better players hopefully after another season I just want to see if I can find a diamond in the rough to be honest I did give some of them offers though but honestly I'm not even going to use the rest of these three hours I don't want to how good is this Robert Stanley kid 61 overall, 87 speed. Okay, he might actually be worth looking at. Well, the rest of the time I'm just going to sim. No, what I meant by a lot, not a lot of holes to fix is like empty spots in the depth chart. Like we're not losing a lot of guys. Of course, there's improvement needed at all positions. Good afternoon, Mr. H. Good afternoon to you. Leave a like on the stream, by the way, if you have not yet. Please, really appreciate it. Advance in a conference championship week. I wonder if we made it to the Conference USA Conference Championship game. 
I don't even think they have a conference championship game. Look at some athletes. Yeah, I would, but you only get three hours of uh, scouting. It's like, you have so many attributes you can look at. You have to, like, basically dedicate all your time towards a couple of them if you want to really see what they're going to do, unless you get lucky, which I never do when I scout. Because I always find, like, the most irrelevant ratings, even though the ones that are relevant. Like, yeah, run blocking and pass blocking is important for a halfback or a fullback or something like that, but I want to see some other stuff. I want to see speed, agility, catching, ratings, like that. Spencer Harrell is committed. Next year, I put 20 guys in your recruiting board. That's what I thought about doing, making myself a little bit of a limit so that I could just focus on a smaller sample of maybe better players rather than just a bunch of really bad players. We'll see how better the team gets in the offseason, though. What the hell? Am I frozen? Come on, man. I think it just froze. My PS3 just froze on me. Wait. It's back. Oh. Okay. Got lucky. <laughs> Bowl season, and uh, Brandon Harton is your Heisman Memorial Trophy winner. Kenyon Barner in third place. Hey, Keith Price, number five. Marcus Lattimore up there, too. I don't know the other two players. I don't even know who Brandon Harton is because I don't watch college football. Save after this? It always auto saves, so I don't really have to do anything on my own. You guys want to see the top 25 at least? Number one in the nation is Alabama, Oklahoma, Michigan, Arkansas, Oregon, K State, UCF, Washington, Utah, South Carolina, NC State, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, it's being super slow again. Well, let me guess, you froze on me? Uh, whatever. Hopefully when the PS4 comes out, we have to have a beast-ass processor on here and it just zooms through us simulating, because it's annoying. Do you think Bama will repeat as champs this year? No. Lost a lot of really good players on defense. Mark Barron, Drake Kirkpatrick, Dante Hightower, Courtney Upshaw. Is Mays still there on offense? Obviously lost Trent Richardson. Their fullback, Brad Smelly. Um... They lost Daqu Do they lose Daquan Menzi? They lost a lot of their starters. They lost good players two years ago also. Yeah, but even if they lose good players and they've done it before, it's not like I'm going to pick them. To, I don't. It's not as likely, I don't think. I think there's better teams that have more returning players. So, I'm not saying they can't win it, but I'm not saying I put my money on them. Or I am saying I'm not put, I wouldn't put my money on them. How many school records did you break this year? Pretty much all of them. I set the record for most, like, rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, passing touchdowns, passing yards, everything. Because it was a one-year school, one-year-old school.
Oh, speaking of records, Evans Okacha. Speaking of more records, career rushing yards, Evans Okacha. Eric Souza passing yards. Career yards. Eric Souza passing touchdowns. Breaking all the records. Eric Brown. All right, next. Going to the off season, it takes forever. <coughs> Advance to the next stage. Players leaving. Is Okacha going pro? What if Evans Okacha goes pro? We'll see. Nobody better transfer either. Players leaving. We got two guys who want to transfer. We got these guys graduating. Lost Jerron Harris, Patrick Hoog, and some very low overall rated players. Blake Terry wants to transfer, as does Michael Robertson. Can I see my full roster though? Ah, uh, you want to go, you can go. Let's see, that was an outside linebacker. He wants to go to LSU. How is this guy going to get into LSU? You want to go to LSU, Blake? I bet you'll have more than 120 tackles. This guy thinks he can go to LSU. Have fun, Blake. We're not... <laughs> That's a slap in the face to the UTSA program. Alright, draft results. This is cool. This is a cool feature here. I've never seen this. Why don't we have anybody drafted, though? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Um, Wisconsin? Monty Ball, first round. Ricky Wagner, first round. Washington State? Washington? USC? Where'd Barkley go? First round. Wait, where's Woods? Woods didn't go out? Um, how about Lattimore go out? Nope, he's staying. How about Oregon? Kenyon Barner will not go in the first round. I guarantee it right now. He's a third down back. He's a little Michael James. Landry Jones. Wow, a lot of draft picks here. Notre Dame. Monty Teo. How about Minnesota? Why? Uh, I'm skipping a bunch of schools right now. How about Clemson? Taj Boyd? Cal? Auburn? Lutzen Kirk in the second round? Alabama? Barrett Jones? Damian Square? Fluker goes in the fourth round, really? Transfer requests? Well, no one wants to come here? I find that hard to believe. 
What team is the Michael James on in the NFL? The San Francisco 49ers. He was drafted in the second round. All right, recruiting week 105 here in the offseason, guys. A lot more recruiting coming your way. Some people wanted to see the Spark 100, so I'm going to entertain you guys a little bit with that. Nick Pittman, an athlete going to Georgia, runs a 4.48. Bet he's a running back with that size. Hmm, doesn't even look that special. Looks like a three star prospect or a four star prospect. How many players did you get? I have 11 so far. I have four three-star guys, five two-stars, and two one-stars. That punter is a gem, though. Trust me. Top 60 is not bad for us at UTSA. If that's our class top 60, no complaints. Keith Arnold, how have you not committed? You and your 22 juke move. We'll continue to scout these guys. Actually, I wanted to look at that one guy who was actually good. Stanley, the Juco sophomore. Got to find his catching rating, so I'm going to go 40 minutes on him and hopefully get it. Agility down, catching is a 60, which is better than a lot of the other recruits I was looking at. So I think I would be happy if I could get him. And I think the rest of the guys, I'll scout some more, but unless I see someone that really jumps out at me, I'm not going to be making a scholarship offer. I guess this guy, possibly 88 speed, 6'1", but we'll see what his catching and acceleration is. 50 on this guy. Tim Bennett. Good jumper, 58 catching, 55 juke. Good ball carrier vision and elusiveness. Stamina. Doesn't look terrible. Well, for any UT for our UTSA team. Anyway. Corey Hayes. Oh, we, what are we going to find on this guy? Anything good? Spectacular catch is not good at all. He can carry the football a little bit. Don't really like what I see from him, so I'm going to drop him from the board. James Jones. 62 catching. Give us speed. 75 dude you're 511 what are you going to do with that kind of speed alright so I'm just going to move these prospects now even Tim Bennett yeah We'll probably go ahead and look at a couple more prospects on the that we could add to the board because most of these guys have been recruited. Pretty much all we have left is guys that we're probably going to get. 
that and that quarterback that I've been wanting. Yeah, so there's literally nothing left for us to do besides talk to these clowns over here at receiver. Alright. We're going to look at some prospects, guys, to add to the football board. We're going to look for guys in our pipeline just to make it easier as well. Otherwise, it's really hard for us to recruit. And we're going to look at quarterbacks. Seven matches found. Dallas Rhodes. Oh, my God. That's a perfect name for a quarterback from Texas. Dallas Rhodes. Are you kidding me? I gotta look at him. That would be perfect. Normal wide receivers, guys, we're now gonna be scouting a lot of quarterbacks. Dallas Rhodes, I love it. That is perfect. Strong safeties, Mike Butler. I guess I'm not even seeing if these guys are even interested in me, my, or uh, how much work I'll have to do to even go after them, but I'll worry about that later. I like some big DTs. Trent Scales. Anybody? Yeah. Jonathan Jackson. Thank you for being almost 300 pounds. Adam West. And any more guards I can look at because the inside pressure has been pretty bad. We already drafted some guys who can play tackle for us. Andy Washington. Think you'd be interested in coming to UTSA a four star? Yeah, right. Aaron Franklin, Adam Bryant. Too much work to be done there. We're on his target school, 72. I have actually scouted this guy a bit. And I gave up on him, I guess. What, how much do we need to catch up to Texas Tech? Yeah, probably not going to happen on this team. Chad Walker. Wow, I have to do some work just to get past North Texas. Or get up to that level. How about any, any interest in USA top, UTSA top school that hasn't been committed? Not guys on our board. Did I scout this guy? Yeah, I did. 52%. Yeah, I took him off because of his speed. Oh, well, as always, next year. So we'll go and talk to some of those quarterbacks, though, quickly. Whoa, he's everybody's soft for somewhere besides Dallas Rhodes. Oh, I didn't even see how much work we had to do to get him. Making some promises though. I'll give him a scholarship if he has to just sit on the bench all the time, whatever.
We're getting Dallas Rhodes. It's too good of a name. Oops, I want to promise. Are you playing in your home state? They should only take that one out because that one's too easy when you recruit in your pipeline. Tyrone Williams. Oh yeah, a lot of these guys are going to be way too difficult. Mike McGee. Even Minnesota's ahead of us. Blake Murphy. BYU's down by a thousand. Doug Young. Yeah, we're not even going to try. Where were those other guys I was looking at? Defensive tackle. No offers yet, so we'll talk to him for an hour just to feel him out. Otherwise, we're going to sim past most of this recruiting if we're going to be pretty much done. What was your final record, Hurricane? I missed the last few games. 3-9. and nine. Advance to the next stage. Week 2 in recruiting. Alright guys, while that's loading, I'm going to go pee. I never pee in my streams anymore, that's weird. I never have to go. All right, guys, I'm back. Oh, we got Hancock. Whoa, we actually got him. That was the guy we wanted. It was not Dallas Rhodes, but... Wow, I did not expect that, actually. Roger Clemens for UTSA quarterback. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to scout Dallas Rosa. Just to see, guy. He's a three-star. Not much of a scrambler, though. He's definitely a pocket passer, and he's really tiny. We got zero accuracy ratings. We didn't get anything we wanted to see there. I got everything I didn't want to see. But we got Eric Hancock. A 6'5 pocket passer. And he has 82 throw power and 74 accuracy, so that's definitely something to build upon. I'm definitely thinking about redshirting him. Soft UTSA. Just, guys, hard commit. Hurricane, you like pizza rolls? Yes. 
Totinos. Trey White. If I get any of these receivers, they're most likely going to be red shirted. Do I still want to figure out anything for Robert Stanley? We're tied with Mississippi State. No, I like what I see though. Kellen Moore 2.0. Hmm. It could be. I wonder if he's lefty. Does it? It doesn't tell you whether or not they're right or left-handed, do they? They should really do that though, because I wouldn't want a left-handed quarterback. Actually, gonna take my time for this guy. I mean, especially if I had a great left tackle, I wouldn't want a left hit in a quarterback because you want your right tackle to be better than because that's the blind side then. Juco is junior college. Defensive tackle. Oh boy, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm eighth on the list. Wow. Yeah, never mind. I don't know how you haven't committed yet. Middle linebacker, corner. I was going to look at this, these safeties. They're both looking at Baylor. And here's 980. How good are they, though? Are they worth chasing? Acceleration is good. Jumping is good. Hit power is good. Speed is livable. 64 man. Strength is up. Press is good. 72 tackle. He's worth it. If I make him a bunch of promises, I wonder if I could get him. Press coverage, stamina, pursuit, strength, block shedding, acceleration. Doesn't look as good as the other guy. Down by a lot, though. I like his ratings. I have not signed a four star yet. I've signed like three, three stars. Alright, so I'll send him a scholarship offer. I'll promise him to play in Texas. I'll promise him no red shirt. And a national championship. No. <laughs> um, oops. Promise the game in his home state. Solid playing time. I'm going to promise him solid playing time. How good is playing time? How important is that to him? Very good. So that was a very good recruiting session there. Are you going after any four or five stars? I'm not sure if I will. Maybe I'll try to go for a four star too. What does UTSA mean? University of Texas at San Antonio. What happens if you lie when you promise them a national championship? I think it just makes it so they don't trust you as much when you do the promises and you don't get as many points. I've never actually gone through a, a season on here. On any dynasty, I always lose interest.
advancing to week three. Yeah, I wasted all those hours because I didn't... Oh, we got Trey White, by the way. I wasted those hours because there really wasn't anything for, else for me to do. Recruiting week three of five. There isn't even much for us to scout anymore. By the way, we're second place now for that strong safety. Worked our way up. How much are we down by? Only 300. Mike Butler making a final push for him. Let's find out more about him. AD injury, 61 player recognition, 70 pursuit. What's his zone coverage? Pretty good. 60, well, not pretty good, but something to work with here. I definitely want him. Just that guy's getting a phone call. Hello? Um, I never texted him, too. I'm uh, streaming right now, though. Different dynasty. Um, uh, when is the best for you? All right, well, hopefully, well, soon then, probably within the next couple of hours, then if I can. Um, yeah, just playing UTSA right now. Yeah, I'll text you then. See ya. Dude, we are destroying it with this guy. Oh my god. Eight hundred and three points. We're getting them. Yeah, was Mike Butler on the phone? <laughs> Man. I'll just scout this guy because we can. Sixty-seven, eighty-one. Give us his speed. It's 91. What did I promise this guy, though? Well, we'll just give him the time. I forgot what I promised them. All positions. Haven't talked to this guy yet this week, so give him the time. Yeah, I should probably schedule a visit. Uh, who calls one of my friends? You want to know about one of the other dynasties I'm in? I'm supposed to play him. It's that Big Ten one I've been doing, but I have, I'm not posting videos for it because that'd be way too crowded on my channel. I'm not even posting Pac-12 stuff in a timely manner. Oh no, now we're in second place for Robert Stanley. We gotta get him. I uh, talk down to Mississippi State. Do a little prospects choice. Proximity to home. Conference prestige. That succeeded. Academic prestige. One. Ha you haven't done the visit activities? No. I forgot about those, actually. I don't even know what they do in the visit anymore. Dallas Rhodes. We did take away a soft commit from Baylor already, though. They might be angry if we take the safety. eighty one and seventy one but we already got the guy we want so you know what Dallas we got Hancock 
Receivers, Arnold. Wait, he have more on his list this time? Troy and UMass. Uh oh, we're tied. All right, let's see if I have anything missed here that I have to uh, still look at as far as my recruits go. All right, did John Lee. I want to get that safety right there, Mike Butler. We had an excellent week of recruiting, though, with him. Be right back, guys. I'm going to let the dog in the house. We'll be back in just like 15 seconds unless the dog doesn't want to come in. Going through recruiting week three, advancing to week four. How do I kind of stink at recruiting? I'm getting all these three star recruits to the UTSA. I'm doing a great job. Good night, AZP. Must be over in the UK. You're scheduled to visit with Robert Stanley. Oh, yeah, I never did these. Uh, oh, well. He has a soft commit to Mississippi State. Eric Hancock, soft UTSA, almost there. Wait, no, Stanley wants to go there, not Keith Arnold. I was getting them mixed up there for a second. We're going to have to talk to him. Do you really want to play... Mississippi State, you're not getting any playing time, man. 98 points, conference prestige. Academic prestige, you should be interested in that. Is it succeeded? Championship contender. <laughs> Keith Arnold we just got passed up by Tulane and Troy whatever all you're worth is a quick call strong safety now David wait we got him He's here. He's ours. Mike Butler, strong safety. He is mine. Something to work with, guys. We can take this guy off the board. I have nothing else I really want to look at either. But I suppose I could just go ahead and add some more guys to the list just to do some scouting because you never know. Like I looked at that strong safety there and I made a big comeback. I had to go up like 900 points. I did it in two weeks. So 
So I'm going to look at some outside linebackers now. Because I could use some better outside backers, I think. Although I already got two recruited. Whoops. Yeah, so I'm just going to go. I don't care. Leaving all that on the table there. I got enough recruits. I got like 16. And probably more coming. So I'm done. I'm not getting four stars. For the last week, I'll add a four star recruit just to there. I'll give it a try. If you get Madden 13 on Tuesday, will you live stream it? Well, I do plan on it. I'm definitely getting it. We got Robert Stanley, by the way. Quick call here. Everybody likes to critique my methods on here. Pretty much everything I do is weird. I don't want to have 25 recruits though, because I have a ton of guys that don't get to play at all. They're going to suck. I will go for a four star guy though. I'll see if I was wrong. A four star. We want a wide receiver in our pipeline. What are the chances? It's in Texas. Three matches. Let's try it. I'm going to scout all three of them, 100% complete. You can call me a dumbass if this works. Hashtag Hurricane's a dumbass if it works. Oops, tight ends. Wide receivers, scouting them all. Wait, what did I just do? I just did a one minute call or a ten minute call. I meant to go scout. <laughs> I hate that. Why did I scout him now? I can't even get him. I didn't even give myself enough time to do this. To do this. I should have tried this in like week three. Because I'm not going to get any of these guys at this stage of the game. We're in the last week of recruiting. Unless someone has no offers, I'm the only offer they have. 83 speed. What makes this guy a four star? Is 87 jumping? John Robinson. Not strong at all. Better route runner than other guys I look at usually. Good carrying. No speed and no catching for any of these guys. How? I'll give him a shot though. I'll promise him that he'll get a home game, a game in his home state. Yeah, I'll just do the rest the way I usually do it. I'm the only offer he has right now. 
I could land him, but he doesn't look like a very good player. Like, I was expecting someone with, like, good ratings, like 85 speed, 75 catching. Four hundred and sixty two. If I get him, I'll be very surprised. Larry Fowler. Now I'm not gonna go for him. I don't even want to have all these receivers, guys. I'm gonna end up with at least three because Arnold's not going anywhere else. I wouldn't think. He's probably coming here. So advancing to the next stage. So we got 400. We got like more viewers here than we did during the actual game. Or it's just being consistent. Yeah, this graph is so consistent. There was like no real dips. We'll see if we can get this guy. I mean, unless somebody else gave him an offer the last second that has better points than us, which is likely, I would think. Progressing recruits. And now we have a speed signing over here. Must be signing day, yeah, because I should have read that. It's probably going to take forever. All these recruits are finally signing. Evaluating recruiting class. Uh, we only have three stars. Wait. Hmm. What? Wasn't that the four star guy I was looking at? Did he get demoted? Or was he only a three star? Signing day. Well, I'm pretty much done. Keith Arnold's going to Louisiana Monroe? Why does it show Troy? He's going somewhere else. He's going somewhere else. He's going somewhere else. What's the big deal about signing day when they've already already hard committed everywhere? Wait a minute, I'm so confused. I can't remove Keith Arnold off my list. The giraffe? Because he has a visit or something? I don't know. He's already a hard commit. What am I going to do? There. Yeah, okay. I'm done. Let's see top classes. Where am I at? 75. 22 recruits. 10 threes, 10 twos, and 2 ones. So let's see who we were better than. We were better than UCLA, UTEP, Texas Tech. We had better recruiting classes than Minnesota. Who was the worst? Wow, what if I had to sell for 15 one stars? I'd quit. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm simming. Yeah, you said Colorado week one. Yeah, if there's no scheduling conflict with Colorado, I'd love to get them in the week one game. Because we got to go out for blood. But what if Fred Arnold doesn't play? Purchase max player training. Position changes. Every Arnold never wants to come to my school. Sos is a new running back? No. Um, Souza's a 79, Hancock's a 65, 
Okacha, 63. Here's our two. Fr uh, Oscar Bridges was a transfer. That's right. We have a lot of running backs, but we're making Nate Shaw. He's actually the fullback, so we're going to change him to a fullback. New position, 40 overall. Whatever. And Glasgow is actually a running back. Cam Jones, Brandon Freeman. A lot of guys over here. <laughs> a ton of receivers. Tight ends, they're good to go, it looks like. This is one of the guys we recruited here at center, 69. Right guard, Anthony Tatum is all we got. What happens if you don't recruit to a certain position? Do you like get walk-on players that are terrible? Is that how it works? Wait, I got that tackle. He's there as a 62. And, wow, these ones are bad, too. Cody Cole. All right, let's see defense. Wow, 58, 66. Could be a long year. Richard Burge, though, is a 71. Left outside linebacker. John Lee is already a 62. He could get some playing time, at least on special teams. Steven Kerfez is still there, which is what matters the most. Holds down the middle. Carter's probably going to get the red shirt. On the outside here, Sean Hunter, a 62 overall gem. And look at here, guys. I actually drafted a guy who could be an impact starter right away. Actually, Starling's going to start. But actually, Starling might be more suited for the slot. Because this guy's 6'3". Will Darian Stalling get mad and unfollow me on Twitter if I put him in the nickel and he doesn't start on the outside? Tristan Wade. Strong safety. Look at that. Johnston's a junior. So Butler, I'm probably going to end up... I don't know. I think I promised him early playing time. How good are my free safeties? I might make him a free safety. How good is he if I go to free? A 66. And here, we got Tristan Wade, who played decent last year. Well, we might actually give this guy a shot to be an opening day starter at free safety. Kicker, punter, no athletes. These guys haven't progressed yet? Why? That wouldn't make any sense. Well, nobody really looked to get better. But why wouldn't they sh why wouldn't they look at the depth chart and changing positions after I see how guys progress? That'd be more sensical. Starling really follows you on Twitter? Yeah, I think him, Glasgow, and Okacha all do. I know Okacha does. And I tweeted back and forth with Darian Stelling a little bit. So it's good that they haven't gotten better yet, because I'm like, wow, these guys haven't gotten any better. Oh boy, Eric Souls is up. Eric Souls is up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Up four overall to 83. Not bad. At running back, Okacha's up six. He's even faster than before. That's nice. Fullbacks. Wide receivers. Cam Jones is up. Brandon Freeman is up. They're both juniors now. Kenny Harrison's up. That's what I like to see. A 76 overall left tackle. Our guards are getting better. Our centers are really improving too. Right guards, nothing. Right tackle. Left end, right end. How about our defensive tackles? Okay. The 76 and a 73. Boyd. Kerfus is an 80 overall now as a senior. Cody Rogers. Starling's up. Eric Brown's up. Tristan Wade. And Nick Johnston to a 75. I like this. Cut players.
That's cool how that works, though. I'm going to definitely cut some players. Yeah, 84 speed. I got to scramble with him some more. I never realized how fast and dual threat he was. By the way, guys, look at all these hometowns, home states. We have an, uh, very, very few that are not from Texas. So, alright guys, we gotta make some cuts. We had the roster size down to 70. Players from Texas, 72. Hmm. I think we have the future here in Eric Hancock, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy and this guy. Well, I kinda would like to redshirt him though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I cut the other guy or redshirt this guy? What do you guys say? Because I would like to redshirt him. I know he's not going to play this year, so I might as well, don't you think? Just keep this other guy for the year as a third string, and then just let Hancock be redshirted. Waiting for comments up to here. Hey guys, leave a like on the video. We're almost at 400. A lot of red shirts. Okay, but definitely got to get rid of some running backs. I can't carry this many. So, yeah. We got three guys in the off season, so I think we can cut these two guys who are lower. And we'll see if six is too much later. I can always redshirt a couple of those freshmen. Um, we're good there, I think. Wide receiver, we can definitely, definitely maybe make some moves. Yeah. Cole Hicks. Sorry, Seth Grubb, Cole Hubble, we got Chris Jones, Robert Stanley, we got enough here, we can also do some red shirting, at tight end, you're going to be gone, and we'll see what else I can do away with, yeah, 47 ain't going to cut it on this team anymore. We're only on offense, too. I haven't even looked at defense yet. I don't know if we have that much depth on defense. We don't need four guys at every linebacker spot. Got to cut three more players. Yeah, sorry, senior, but you're not going to play this year, so you're cut. Got to make two more cuts. Cut Christian Ponder. Wow. <laughs> um, I think we're going to end up cutting Terrence Wilburn because I think that we can do a lot more with these other running backs that I just got. Don't cut a senior, you jackass. <laughs> Hmm, junior red shirt. I think we're going to get rid of Holmes here. Marcellus Mack played good in the time he got when I put him in. So now we're at 70, we're good. I was wondering if you could cut players because I knew I had so much depth at certain receivers. You got a 50 defensive tackle? Yeah. I don't know. I just cut where I knew guys wouldn't play. Like, he might actually have to come in, even if he's a fourth. I liked Wilburn, but I, I got three guys in the offseason, so it really makes sense.
Did you win, Mr. Hurricane? What was the score? No, he lost. I think it was 38-10. to 10. It looked a lot worse than it was because I threw a interception for a touchdown at the very end of the game, or close to the end of the game, and they got a touchdown in garbage time. Custom conferences. We are going to the SEC this year. No. Um, i got to go look at the MAC. I forget. i got to look at the Mountain West. Where did I put Boise in here? I think no, I know where I put them. I put them in the Pac-12 because I did it the way I wanted to do it. I like my conferences the way they are. I'll move to the Big 12 once I'm a really big school, like better program and everything. Doesn't make sense to do it right now. Cut, Mr. Hurricane. <laughs> The rule is don't cut seniors, they've put the work in. Don't cut freshmen, they've never gotten a shot. I had to do what I had to do. I had too many recruits. Alright, I'm not going to set the recruiting board right now because that's going to take some time, but I'll do the red shirting right now. Hancock gets the red shirt. Running backs. Who should we carry? I probably should have kept Wilburn, actually. I want to uh, sit some of these guys. Let's see. Moss is 92 speed. They all have the same acceleration, pretty much. And carrying. I'm going to sit Moss because he has 48 carrying. Maybe he can get better later. Danny Moss, Oscar Bridges, Anthony Banks. Any receivers I should? Yeah. Probably both of my freshmen. Should I keep Robert Stanley or should I redshirt him too? I think six receivers we can carry six. At tight end, definitely going to have him redshirted. At tackle... We will have him red-shirted. Right guard. Anthony Tatum's going to start because we have nobody else. Let's see how many left tackles do I have. I mean, come on. You're not going to see two tackles get hurt. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. I meant to say no. I meant to say no. Take it off him. Okay, I can, at least I can do that. Wow. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Right end. Palmer might actually play. Left outside linebackers. Kevin Malone. At middle. Dominic Carter. Ah. Uh, I already said I wouldn't redshirt him, but I guess he's going to get playing time or not going to get playing time. Nichols I'm not redshirting for sure. Mike Butler. All right, we're good. And we'll set up a depth chart too, and we'll do the custom scheduling. Souza, of course. Okach is always a starter here. Anthony Banks is third. Oscar Bridges. Brandon Armstrong. Cam Jones, Brandon Freeman, Kenny Harrison in the slot, Josiah Monroe, Marcellus Mack, and Robert Stanley. I think it was pretty much the way I like it on here. Wait, right guard. I could put in a backup left guard and he'd be better. Then I'll do it. Just because he's not ready. Whoops. Right tackle. Left end. Kerfez is not playing end. 
Put in Michael Palmer there. Kerfiz will not play end on this team. Defensive tackle, why would I put him in there? It's not even going to be that one. Defensive tackles will play defensive tackle. Left outside, Kerfez. We have more than one left outside linebacker. What are they doing? They're just putting in better overalls, even if they're not in the right position. You have an All-American wide receiver? Did it say that? Or was he just an impact player? If Kerfiz goes down, we're screwed. At right outside linebacker, you have Cody Rogers and Sean Hunter. Corners, Brown, Starling, Nichols. Let's see. Lower awareness. Who has better coverage ratings? Who has better man coverage, that is? Let's see. It looks like Nichols is better. Starling's better in zone, though. I'll keep Starling there. Why is Steven Kerfus back up for every position? At strong safety. Can we please have strong safeties playing strong safety? Not a difficult concept. Kicker, punter. Wait, why is my punter a kicker? Wow, this is why you need to edit it yourself. Otherwise, it'll be so messed up. I'd have Steven Kervis injured for sure. Oh, kick returner is not going to be Cam Jones. I want to risk him getting injured. We can put one of the rookie or the freshman halfbacks on there, though. Anthony Banks, maybe. And Josiah Monroe. At punt returner... We will put back Kenny Harrison. He did pretty well. Uh, well. Actually, Kenny Harrison was a good kick returner last year, too. Where's third down back? They don't have third down back in the depth chart. And now the custom schedule. Uh, we have an open date here. We have Arizona, Oklahoma State, Virginia, UCF, Houston, UTEP, Rice, Southern Miss, Tulsa, Marshall, open date, Tulane, and Texas State at the end of the year. Can we get Colorado? Wait. I gotta change a game to open before I can do it. Well, that Arizona game, I don't know why we play against them. Colorado, Colorado, Colorado. Uh oh, there they are. Colorado, Oklahoma State, Virginia, UCF. We play four tough teams right away, guys. If we go over four, don't get mad. Wait, we play at them. We're playing Colorado at home. They're coming to the Alamo Dome. Texas State, we're going to play at home, too. How many home games is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So 
Someone said I had an All-American wide receiver. Whoa! Kenny Harrison is an All-American. Was he for returning? Can you have an All-American returner? He's an All-American. I got an All-American! Oh, Louisiana Tech, oh no! Ooh. Sorry, Virginia, we're not playing you. Thank you for not letting me forget. Or, thank you for reminding me, because I did forget. It's for returning? That's excellent. I better put him at kick return, then, because he's an All-American. Any team from Louisiana. Louisiana Tech, Monroe, uh, Lafayette. Yeah. We're going to play against the Raging Cajuns, guys. Make sure we play at. Yes. Perfect. Can you play Minnesota instead of Texas State? It's actually a rivalry between the two teams, so I'm keeping Texas State there. Kick returner. Sorry, but we have an All-American. Why Louisiana? Because I promised all my Louisiana recruits that we play a game in Louisiana in their home state. LSU, yeah. So we're pretty much ready to start the season, except for I have to do... Well, I just set the recruiting board with you guys, what the hell. Or some of it. We'll find some good prospects to go for in our pipeline. Alright. It's a brand new season, guys. Let's see our pipeline states. We have Louisiana yet? Nope, we have three from there, though. I don't know how many it takes to get a pipeline. Anyways, search. We want to see... Five-star recruits in our pipeline. Four-star recruits in our pipeline. Halfback, Ty Brantley, speed back. Alan McDowell at guard. I'm going to look at these top guards. Tim Whitaker? Sure. We're not going to look at too many of these guys, but I would like to get some. Or try. I want some defensive tackles. And a couple of guards to look at. And we'll even look at a wide receiver or two. I already added one to the board, I believe. There are seven four stars. Now we're going to look at some three-star prospects in our pipeline. Actually, let's just take a look at anybody who is number one is UTSA. Ten matches. Who's the best guy? We got a three-star here, Randy Brown. It's a start, guys. Larry Brown. We're good at that position. We'll look at this defensive tackle. Um, then we're going to look at some three stars in our pipeline. Well, I should also look at maybe Louisiana, because I can make them a pipeline if I keep doing this. Uh, 
All right, let's see what positions we can look at here. Don't want a quarterback. We're pretty happy. We have a quarterback for the future as a red shirt freshman, or a red shirt right now. Marcus Stewart and Mickey Randall. And cut off Louisiana. So I should look at, I kind of want to get a, I don't know. It's like, what do I go for now? Because my team is still really young. But I should go look at my team needs, like someone said. Whoops, R3. We have done it. I have no position needs. I filled a lot of holes with bodies. But, let's see, I had a senior at quarterback, a senior at running back, which is Evans Okacha, a senior at tight end, so I could look for another tight end, um, a tackle, and that's only that's it, we have less seniors this year than first year. Yeah, our best players are all juniors, too. So I think I just got to go ahead and look at, hmm, let's go look at our depth chart quick, see what I should fill. Yeah, you need a guard, definitely, because my right guard situation is really rough. So, running back, though, Glasgow is probably going to start the next year. Banks is probably going to progress still, and Oscar Bridges. I like a running back situation, unless we get an impact player. Um, fullback, a junior, and a junior. Wide receiver, a junior, a junior, a sophomore, a sophomore, a junior, and a sophomore. So, yeah, we're definitely, like, a building for the future team, just because we have so much young talent. But, yeah, David Morgan and Tyler Stevens. I can't remember if I... If I uh, People, is everybody, everybody's saying that Tulane's in New Orleans, but I can still play the Raging Cajuns. Um, Trevor Stevens. I might look for a tight end. Let's see. Uh, I could look for a tackle. I'm definitely looking for a guard. So a tight end and a guard for sure, and a defensive end. What side? left end so I'm going to write this down by the way tight end tackle defensive end linebackers we have enough uh, middle linebacker I don't remember if we registered anybody here might have cut somebody at corner yeah I'm going to get a cornerback especially because Eric Brown's a senior Tristan Wade, Mike Butler, Nick Johnson, yeah. What's our kicker? Okay. I'm probably not going to target very many prospects. Should I go for a middle linebacker too? Probably. Especially if I can get somebody who's going to be better than those guys after they progress. Like a 65 overall. Whoops. Why don't I go to depth chart? I need to go to the preseason recruiting board. And I want to look at some more guys from Louisiana if I can. So probably some three stars. Whoops. No wonder I couldn't find it. I was looking for a state and I was getting positions. Just looking for LA. <laughs> All right. So, what do we got for tight ends on here? We need a tight end, a receiving one. Bob Estes. We're gonna add one of these, some of these three-star guys just to see how they are. Kyle Allen, Steve Holloway. And we'll also, well, we'll narrow it down from a group.
we'll let this guy, well, are these guys looking at LSU? Some of them are. Might be tough. Let's see, uh, tackle. He's looking at Ole Miss. It'd be easier to get this guy. Jimmy Jones at defensive end. Andre Ross, Ray Herring, Mike Lane. I don't want to get too many guys, though. And I don't have to just look for Louisiana. I can go look at all now. I don't want to look at anybody less than a three-star unless I get desperate. When are you doing another Walking Dead video or live stream when season three or episode three comes out, which I don't know when that's going to be. So your corners, actually, I need an outside cornerback. So I'll have Starling and Nichols next year, but then Starling is going to be a senior. So I'm going to look at height from 6'3 to 6'6, so I can get a 6'3 corner again. Whoa, not just any player. I love tall outside corners, though. Let's see, a 6'3 hard hitter from Oklahoma, Alabama, Florida, Texas. Put him on the board. South Carolina and Ohio. And then we're going to look at a middle linebacker, a few of the middle linebackers, and then we're going to end the recruiting board building right now. I want a coverage backer. Leslie Britton out of Texas, Luis Walker. Yeah, everybody's saying start Mike, but Mike Butler. I'm gonna give him some playing time. Marquise Jones. Hmm. Michael Fuller. Yeah, we got a few on the board. There are 25 prospects is enough to start out with. Would love to get a five star guard. I think it's too many people. I'll block this guy for trolling. Hope you enjoyed sending all those messages. I have not watched The Walking Dead, but I would like to give it a try. Especially because I like the show. Alright, so. Definitely need to get some guard prospects looking at looking at some here. So This guy's first, so we're going to look at Larry Brown. Well, we'll look at him later. Here's a four-star prospect. I wonder if I looked at too many fours. Recruiting health is up, is off. Let's go 40 minutes on Lamar Davis. 85 strength, 51 jumping. Good impact blocker. Of course, don't give me the key attributes. Pretty much know this guy's going to be good here. But we'll scout him anyway. Ooh, he's down, actually. Down? Wow. Definitely not what we had in mind. But he'll still probably be a good player on this team. We'll scout this guy now, Larry Brown. Impact blocking is up. Injury is up. Run block, not very good. Stamina. I could do 60 minutes on pretty much all of them. Yeah, 
Yeah, guy's a good block shine there, good finesse moves. Nice tackling, pursuit, acceleration. This guy's good. Maybe I should test how many accounts these guys have. Yeah, still taking it. Always a bust, probably. It's already been added. Oh. Get on new accounts, guys. An error has occurred. Let's see. Next. Let's see if we can get a gem here out of here. Pursuit. Power moves is up. Block shedding is decent. Hit power is up. Yeah, we got something to work with here. With this guy. Agility, block shedding. He's down two, though. Defensive tackle. A four star. Strength is up, acceleration down. Give us block shedding. That's what matters. Hit power's up. Block shedding. Okay, he's looking good. Looking like a four star prospect. And then. How about this guy? Nothing standing out is pretty much exactly as we thought. You have more accounts? Aw, oh, 10 minutes on accident. Middle linebackers. Well, it's got to at least be annoying for him to go ahead and look at new accounts. So this guy has 72 block shedding. Good coverage ratings though, Leslie Britton. Luis Walker. Yeah, I'll probably just turn off notifications next time. Because I get messages like every stream that are annoying now. Yeah, a lot of times I get messages up there that are actually helpful. Block shedding up. Come on, give us good coverage ratings, please. 65, uh, 71 tackle, 70 man. This would be something to work with, though. Definitely some good prospects. Missouri City in Texas. This guy looks good to me. 87 speed, I can live with that. Acceleration's up, 73, man, I like a lot of these guys. I just wonder if it's going to be tough at all for me to get these three-star recruits, and I'll have to add some two-stars to my list. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just sign out. Don't need the EA servers right now. 63 zone. Free safety, strong safety. Who do I have left that I have not scouted? Probably the wide receivers. Eighty route running, guys. Eighty-two jump. How good is this guy again? Eighty-four speed. What's his catching? Uh, we won't know. He's the four. 
here's another four. Like, I have so many young players at certain positions, though. Like, I should really... This should be a year where I only look at good recruits. Because I have so many young guys that are going to progress that I could create a lot of gridlock on my depth chart if I end up just going for the same players. So I should only get two stars in those guys if I am forced to. Because I have so many guys that are going to progress and so many young guys already, they're just going to get no playing time. Do I have any more guys to scout? Oops, I had that first uh, guard there. Seventy nine and eighty six. I want them. It's a five star though. Everybody's gonna want them. Oh, there's plenty more guys I haven't looked at yet. At tight end. And a couple at tackle. A receiving threat. We will fifty minutes on this guy. A lot more ratings to look at for tight ends. Okay, blocker. Good route running and catching traffic, though. That's what I like to see. Steve Holloway. Wow, he's 6'7". Please tell me he can catch a football. Good... Decent jumper. This guy's six two. He can spectacular catch stuff. And this one, John Perez, is the last guy we're gonna scout. He can spectacular catch as well, and he can jump. Alright, so we scouted pretty much all those guys. Maybe we missed a couple of them. But, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the stream now. I'm going to go ahead and do some other things. Um, I've been streaming now for a little while. It's been a lot of fun. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Actually, this is probably one of my longer streams. It's a three-hour stream. It was a good time, though. We're going to go ahead to Season 2 now in the next, well, not the next episode. I'm going to obviously make a video about the last game and then the off season. But thank you guys for coming to the stream. It was a great time. Leave a like on your way, on your way out. If you have not yet, if we can get to 500 likes, that'd be awesome. But thank you guys for having a great stream here. Um, had a great time, actually. You guys stayed here pretty consistent. There was no dips in views, and everybody was pretty interested, even though I had to do like an hour and a half, two hours of recruiting only. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.